Ayina's favorite strategy is to take over food from other predators. Cheetah, wild dogs will give up their food upon seeing hyenas. Leopard will try to take the food up in the tree. If they couldn't, then gave up. Lion food were often taken over by the hyena. Highly dependent on numbers, a single lion will just walk away. A small pride will try to resist, then give up. A member of the uh, of this, yeah, of this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why you see that. We're here again with the uh, two lions and uh, I will tell you what, believe it or not, one of the uh, right side is a male lion, you know. We are quite used to see lions male with a lot of mane but this one has definitely no manes. It's very unusual to see such a thing but today we are here spending time with it and i want you guys to see this guy lying on the ground still this is a male lion the other one is a female and i think they are uh, into the uh, mating season so they are following each other everywhere they go so that is a female quite looks quite similar to the male one except this one is much much bigger than the female so just wait when it's stand up you will see the genitalia of this one quite represent the male lion and the other one is female. look at him he's actually much bigger than the than the female this is very unusual to see it you don't get to see this very often hey, look at them man so yeah we're gonna be here and spend a little bit of time with them and uh enjoy the interactions and see what it's like you know it's uh, something different for sure we are currently here in dutu 
uh, with the beautiful sunrise in the back. Ndutu area in the west of the conservation area has a particularly strong cheetah and lion population. You know that uh, lioness engage in allo cycling, which is the cycling of any cub by any lactating female. So mostly each female circles her own cubs, but the mutual cycling and communal care of any cub of the pride by any female reduces the chances of mortality for all the cubs. It is not just lion can be found in here. It's also a home of varied species of antelopes such as grand gazelles. We had an amazing two nights in here and uh, this is our last day. Uh, the place has been amazing with a lot of lions and uh, yeah, today we are heading to the center Serengeti. Uh, we have at least an hour drive from here to the Nabi gate and then from there we're going to drive straight up to the center Serengeti. We're expecting to see that uh, huge number of the wildebeest migration from there. So this is going to be amazing and we are totally looking forward to it. Serengeti Plains the almost treeless grassland of the south in the almost emblematic scenery of the park. This is where the wildebeest breed as they remain in the plains for, from December to May. Other hoofed animals, zebras, gazelle, impalas, hartbeest and many moles also occur in a huge number during the wet season. Male impalas will fight for hierarchy or dominance. In a serious fight like this can make them become very vulnerable to predators such as cheetah, leopard or lion, even hyenas sometimes. We have finally made it to Rua National Park and uh, we are at the Maganga Magungu viewpoint. Uh, look at the view, uh, stunning. This is this is the Rua River. It's in a dry season, hoping a lot of our life will be down to the river drinking water. But so far, it looks amazing. Uh, our first close-up animal in Rua, and that is uh, the Fasa waterbuck. Here come a group of buffaloes. Don't know where they come from, but it's a big number of buffaloes going through. Wow. This guy wanna come toward us. That's a, 
That's, that's such a very big herd. All the buffalo are being, are being curious now. They probably wonder what it is.